another weird paranormal experience with my crystal skull. I'm posting these experiences and my daughter Angara is here. Um, she's my little sidekick. Oh, I'm with Notori, but um, Notori seems to be the guard as Angara here um, is kind of like my sidekick companion. Um, so I have my phone case there and the um, but here's the deal. Um, I had pictures posted up when I went to see Marilyn Monroe and had the uh, paranormal encounter with Marilyn Monroe and a bunch of them since that I have mentioned. Um, in that moment with the pictures, when I went to see her cemetery um, spot for the first time, um, I have pictures posted first wearing the red Alice Cooper shirt and from the concert, and then uh, the second picture is posted with the uh, red Hawaiian shirt, which is the other shirt that I had had. Um, you could feel ice cold wall all the way around, right? Um, regular, normal, but yet you could place your hand on two spots where you could feel like she's pu pushing both of her hands up, um, you know, to feel your hands. You know, you can bond with Marilyn. And I had pointed that out to Jesse. Um, both of her hands are there. You can feel where it's warm, where it's cold, everywhere else. So both of her hands are touching. We're bonding. Um, and it was weird. We having moments talking up to, like, it, it's kind of weird. Marilyn Monroe's here right now. Um, and then to bond with her, I had two guitar picks um, that I had used. Um, these... StarTex, I forget who they're even made by, StarTex, um, PV, these are their heaviest ones, and it was at that point that I had taken the brass dollar bill coin, um, the only year that they used solid brass, filed it down myself into a guitar pick, and that's what I've been using as my main guitar pick all these years, I don't use anything else. So I had two guitar picks, these ones that I had grown up using, and loved. I gave one of them to her, placed it inside the little slot um, to where it would fall in uh, with her urn. And I had told her that any time she ever wanted to connect with me, I used that and this one all these years. And that you know, at that point that I'm telling her, right? Um, and this was years ago, as you know. So that's how she was able to, you know, it had my blood, sweat, and tears on this and the other one. And um, I would keep one, she would have the other. So I also felt really bad. And as you know, I posted this up all around, right? Um, so I'm just getting to the point, long way around, catching everyone up on this encounter I just had. So I had been meaning since day one to play guitar for Angelo. I have with, you know, uh, Aerith, uh, my first crystal skull, as well as my cats and all the crystal balls and everything here. Um, so I know when I go to play guitar, I have a connection to Marilyn Monroe. Um, now, while I was there at the cemetery that day, her plaque behind me, as you can see in the pictures, um, was dusty. And I had taken off my red Alice Cooper shirt, and I'm like, ooh, honey, let me just dust off your, you know, you shouldn't have dust. You're too fabulous to have dust collecting on your, on your little plaque here. You know what I mean? Let me wipe this off just real nice and gentle. You know, just dust it off, my love, you know, the queen, you know? And I did real gentle. Really, really gentle. And as you can see, just pulling it out, a couple spots. A couple spots. And I have not worn this shirt since. I will not. It stays in my guitar case, so we are together. Because of the car, uh, guitar pick and the bond and everything. So this is all over in the front side. All of that. Just lightly dusting off my Marilyn's plaque. Um, that's there on her, you know, at the cemetery where she is. And it's all over the shirt. And the staff at the cemetery said, you know, that doesn't happen. I'm not in trouble, you know. 
um, but that doesn't happen. The gold plating stuff that's on the um, Marilyn Monroe and her date of birth and date of death, you know, um, that doesn't just come off. So my lightly dusting should not have done that. And we acknowledge that that was her way with me giving her the other guitar pick that I had had to bond so she can come to me. This is so that, you know, if I ever need my Marilyn, um, we have our bond. So I'm explaining this to Angelo as I'm pulling out the guitar after posting the pictures of the portal. I'm like, you know what? Today's the day. So light and sound are a big activator for skulls and I had yet to do that been meaning to telling him since day one and while I'm getting ready to plug in and everything I'm explaining about Marilyn and my bond with her after having posted these pictures of the portal which is like you know what I'm gonna do it today we're gonna play guitar so it's for him just you know noodle around I haven't played a while um you know gotta warm up my fingers that'll take a long time but um you know, and then also explaining this whole thing about why that bag's in there and why every time I play guitar, this is for my Marilyn, you know, like Marilyn Monroe. And I was using my brass guitar pick that I made. That's all I use. And it flopped out of my hands. It is not in my room. I am not on drugs. I have searched where it fell, where it could have fell, wherever it could have rolled. I have looked in that room all over in the last few minutes. That guitar pick is not in my room right now. I had to finish playing guitar with the other pick because I gave her hers and I had this one. So, with posting of the pictures of the portal, with light and sound, I'm like, today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to play guitar for my Angelo. And then I had been mentioning all about, while I'm getting it plugged in and everything, um, and putting the replacement string on the one, um, I'm explaining to him all about how when I play it for my Marilyn and what the bag is and, and how special and rare. And that's my bonding moment with Marilyn. And since, Marilyn Monroe has come to me many times. And it's her ghost, and it. she's been dead long enough. She's, you know, she can do a ghost. And when she comes to you, it fucking freaks you out, man. Because she's, whoa, bam, she's right there. And there's no way you can deny that's a ghost in front of you. You can see the whole fucking thing. And to know that that's my bond with Marilyn, and that's Marilyn Monroe's ghost standing right in front of my face. And I ended up having to use this to finish off. While Angelo is sitting right in front of my amp, talking to me, facing me, and his ears are, you know, the amp is in the back of him. So he's facing me, and I'm telling him all these things, and I'm starting to play, and... Then my guitar pick is gone, and I had to use Marilyn Monroe's other piece. There's only the two picks that I had left. One is with her inside her vault as a means to come to me, and this one was mine, and I don't use these picks. But I had to finish playing guitar for a few minutes for my baby Angelo, and this is what happened. There are no coincidences in this world. Having weird encounters, experiences, paranormal experiences like that with a crystal skull, human size. These things happen. I have been um, acknowledging I will say things along the way of my experiences with a crystal skull, which is Angelo, human size. Um, the 27th will be a year that I have had Earth, my first crystal skull, the two inch. Um, but since I've had Angelo, the paranormal experiences around here in this house have amped up to the point where my father has acknowledged, yeah, you know, it's, it's picking up. Um, this house is haunted. We got it that way. It's ice cold in here all the time. You don't need an air conditioner when it's hot as hell outside. You know what I mean? 
And um, since my grandmother's been here, I've explained, that's picked up even more. And my room is the uh, portal room. And uh, it's, it's pretty fucking haunted. And I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm playing guitar for Angelo for the first time, and I'm, it's all about bringing my Marilyn in. You know, I love my Marilyn. And now my brass guitar pick is not in that room. I have been searching since I put the guitar down. I cannot find it. I've looked. You know, there's no fucking way that thing is not there. And it's not there. And I had to finish off with playing the pick the other one for her and this is pieces of the shirt you can see I never wear I keep it inside my guitar case because I gave her the pick and I have the other one and she's always with me Angelo likes to do things I am um, recording these encounters posting them all up no matter how fucked up you think I am you know, um, I'm acknowledging these encounters with a human-sized crystal skull. Um, and I will also say that... All of these things combined... It's just a little weird. You know what I mean? You put all these things together, you've got a haunted house before we even got here. You know, I'm up to having my gram here now. Everything's amped up. Um, and then my room has somehow turned into a portal over these years. Um, and it sounds really fucked up, man. But being that I still have even a little bit of a platform. And I am having these experiences. And there is still a stigma with all kinds of things like paranormal and UFO and crystal skulls human size above uh, I've noticed the smaller ones are the training wheels and that's what Aerith had told me not to feel bad like I'm gonna be freaking out over my full size and just kind of drop him off right no he understands he was to be my training wheels to educate me the differences between a small crystal skull and a human size or above and also the differences between a crystal ball and a crystal skull there's night and day difference you know there's no comparison and so when i am mentioning now things about the crystal skull i started with earth but it's now just about the crystal skull right and that's for angelo human size human size that's when things happen the museums, um, there's two of them with videos, the British Museum and the Smithsonian, uh, that have uh, weird encounters. They no longer have staff um, that, you know, do the stuff at night. They've had to tell people, you know, there's crystal skulls there. They do things. They freak the staff out. And there's more than the two museums that have the ancient skulls in them. There's, uh, what is it, seven or nine um, of the museums that have the ancient skulls in them. Um, so that's pretty rad ass. Um, you can look it up for, you know, with them. Their museums, the Smithsonian and the British Museum, with the crystal skulls in it, just YouTube it, okay? So if two museums that are, you know, pretty reputable, they're not going to be all fucked up in the head junkies, that they're just spewing out garbage and they're like, yeah, 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 whatever. You can rely on what they say is weird experiences. So I, having just even a tiny bit of platform, you know, um, I'm taking that to help even further. I'm putting up all of my experiences and, you know, together we can break the stigma surrounding paranormal and the uh, crystal skulls and everything. The other night, um, he had me write down all kinds of things about how I am to go about bringing a ghost for my brother Jeremy and then for my grandmother so that we can all see him and have him and have our own little personal ghost and you know um and how and why and everything how to do and then seeing video afterwards on the Gnostic Stargate and how we are the Stargate and I'm watching it and I posted it up look that's everything he fucking told me what to do man except I've got 
detailed list in my, the notes on my phone of what he's told me to do and that's only just a small couple sentences as compared to what's downloaded into my brain as to how to do and why the one OCD that I've had my entire life and I explained all it to my father as well um, the Zoloft was not able to ease away was uh, my body as a screen you know why you know our skin is open like a um the screen on a window or the screen on a door you know what i mean um it's kind of weird how we can stand up and the blood just doesn't flow all over the floor and it's kind of weird how a screen can hold in me my soul you know what i mean and it's not like our flesh is an actual wall my whole entire life I've written, you know, about this. It's the OCD of how I feel trapped in my human body. These cells, a prison cells, you know what I mean? da 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 catchy with the human cells and prison cell. It's like the soul is trapped. And this is not a wall. It's like a screen that you can see through when you open your door or, open, you know, the window. You can look out when you've got a screen on it. Um, I don't understand. So, you know, years later growing up when I get into partying, you know, I sit there in my room all wasted, you know, after reading Grey's Anatomy and I'm looking at my hands like, wow, man, isn't this fucking rad how I don't even need to tell my fingers how to work and they just fucking work. And then later on, all of that took me into wanting to go to medical school and I did all that stuff for the mortuary. Um, veered off in mortuary because I saw a black and white photo of my niece and I'm like, no shit. She's laying on the mortuary table. And if I had to be a doctor, because I wasn't going in for mortuary at that point, um, you know, finishing school here to be a doctor, what if I had my niece come in in a horrible car accident and she's screaming in pain? I'd feel horrible. So I went into the side of death with mortuary to finish and, you know, did the uh, four years of medical school accelerated to go and finish with mortuary from there bringing you all up to date here's yet another encounter i've had okay so this is with the crystal skull lamping everything up full size my connection with marilyn monroe and my bond and being forced to use the guitar pick i say it's her guitar pick because she has the only other one i've got and that's her way to come to me and this guitar pick and the stuff that does not come off a plaque on a cemetery. And the staff told me it's okay, but that does not come off and that's not possible. That's not possible. And that they had acknowledged, and I've talked about this for years, that she must be giving herself to me too. We have a bond. And Angelo playing guitar for him for the first time. After posting up the photos with the portal, I'm like, you know what? Today's the day, man. You know, I'm just going to take a minute and it won't be nothing jam pretty. You know, I'm just going to play because I showed the photos with the light and mentioned with light and sound for activation of a crystal skull and how the only one that I didn't do was for sound. That's, you know, well, I have done with sound, but for playing guitar, I've told him since day one, I would play for him at some point. And mentioning that, I'm like, today's the day. I'll do that today. So I posted those up, and I pulled the everything out to play guitar. And um, I'm like, today I'm going to play for you. I've said I would. Here we go. And it was all about telling him all about my Marilyn and how what's in that bag means everything to me and, and that guitar pick, you know. And now my brass guitar pick that is the only one that I use all these years since I don't have that anymore. I don't know where that is. It is not in my room, and I was just using it. It's gone. So, I'll keep documenting all of these experiences with a full human-sized crystal skull, as I said I would. At some point, I know that there's the Crystal Skull International Society, and on their website, which you need a lot more geared for a crystal skull, because at this point, it looks kind of like spammy. Um, but you can also do writing for them. If they like it, you might get paid or whatever, right? So I'm just like, you know, at some point I'm going to take a whole bunch of these experiences that I'm telling people about, and then from there I'll compile them together 
and I'll write about my experiences with a human-sized crystal skull. Because these things need to be documented and not just things that you read about something happened, you know. It's said that, you know, in these fake lowers about the crystal skulls and... No, I'm documenting the fucking experiences. Love you. Namaste. Marilyn Monroe. Go read all about her. If you don't know who Marilyn Monroe is, watch all of her movies. That is my girl. That is my love. She's my queen. Be, 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 baby. I love my Marilyn Monroe. So, my girl, with the help of Angelo, she's hanging out with me for a while today, and that's pretty fucking obvious to me. And my girl and I, and my Angelo, How wonderful blessing of experiences are these. As fucked up, as drugged out sounding as they do, paranormal experiences happen. Paranormal experiences happen when there's a full human-sized crystal skull. Case point, like I said, watch the two videos up. Smithsonian and the uh, British Museum have their videos talking about their, you know, weird things happen. They got to warn the staff and everything. So I'm documenting these experiences. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Namaste. And make sure you go look up Marilyn Monroe.